Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today we are gonna review Rank 12 Kriana mid game. What does a mid laner do after the turrets fall and should you group? Should you push bot? What are the most optional plays at each situation and what you should do in your own games? So let's begin. So first of all, she saw a skirmish appearing mid. So Instantly, she goes to the mid lead and tries to help the team. At the same time, the dragon is spawning and whoever gets a dragon soul wins the game. So, the dragons are really important and you should always prioritize the dragons, but at the same time, grapes can't prioritize the dragons because they're losing all the lanes, which is mid and bot. That's why grapes is forcing play stop and trying to get back to this game. At the same time, Rihanna tries to trade the objectives with enemy team and continues to look for the plays whenever she has an R, she tries to look for a play. Right here, Rakan overstepped and Rihanna could look for this plays, but the thing is, she's not behind, she's really ahead and she doesn't want to go for any risky plays because there's no point. When you're ahead, you want to maintain your lead as much as possible and try to not give any shutdowns to enemy team. So right here, she has 300 gold bounty, she doesn't want to give any advantage to enemy team and throw her lead away. After he got a really nice pick on Vetristana, even threw that the Pantheon had to flash for it. She's looking to split push the bot lane and match her eyes instead of pushing men with teammates. She doesn't want to trade objectives evenly and she wants to trade and she wants to trade don't trade the objectives for no reason. Sadly, enemy team knew that she was coming and they had really good vision control and they killed her and got her shadow. 300 gold to arise is quite a lot of money and he's gonna be way stronger than he is now and now he's even gonna finish his summons. Right here it's unlucky that Pantheon died but nothing can go down it. That's pretty okay. And that play that she was looking for was really good. Sadly the enemy team had really good vision control and that play was stopped. So right now what she's doing again is going bot lane and split pushing. Meanwhile, uh, she's making sure that uh, her ADC and her support gets mid experience. Meanwhile, she's gonna get solo experience bot side because she's an assassin. She can easily match her eyes and she can easily go side lane. At the same time, Pantheon is going back to his top lane because he doesn't want to give a free turret for a Maokai. He wants to maintain the pressure topside, because that turret denies a lot of pressure for enemy team and automatically we can go for really aggressive plays in the topside. Sally Pantheon gets free man, but at the same time enemy team is struggling to get any advantage, that's why even for it they're gonna lose an inhibitor here, they're still going for this place because this is the only way for them to get some advantage back and we can't stop the herald even if we try to. So right here, after the Kriana gets the mid in, uh, bot inhibitor, he's going to wave clear the mid and make sure to help her team to win the 2v2 skirmish and bring man advantage in top side. So right here, she knows she can easily cut off the graves and can get another free kill which would lead for the player team getting more advantage. At the same time we couldn't get anything else so she should always prioritize kill, uh, objectives or the kills but in this scenario she didn't have any choice and she had to go for a kill because that's the only play available on the map. So the Baron is spawning after 1 minute. At the same time Red Dragon will spawn in the 30 seconds as well. So, enemy team knows if they're gonna give 40 seconds until the dragon spawn. Enemy team knows that if they're gonna give 
the Ocean Drake. And if they give, I'm gonna give another Ocean Drake after this one. The game is over, and there's no way of winning it anymore. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna try to look for a play here. That was a nice E by the Greeks. I didn't know that you can E so fast. He probably he has Mercs. He did have Mercs. So that was a really nice E by him. He cancelled out the Rihanna's ultimate. Right here, Maoka got 1000 gold shutdown. At the same time, this is not favorable fight for a uh, team. So they back off and we just gonna give the dragon for free. Right here, it was a really nice attempt by Kriana to finish out the Rakan, but sadly, it didn't happen. So, right here, knowing that we're gonna go for a dragon. Iriana pressures the top side, but at the same time, she has a little vision on the enemy team. Plus, she knows that the prize can easily R in, and she knows that she needs to help the team because there's gonna be a dragon fight. So, right now, everyone is contesting the dragon, everyone is teleporting in because this is higher division. Everyone is contesting the third dragon. The enemy team knows if they're gonna give a third dragon to. Blue team automatically this game might be really difficult for them and make it even harder than it is now. Even though it Rihanna died, somehow Rice stole the dragon and the team fight occurred. Everyone goes out and they trade one for one, but Allied team overcommits and dies for their mistake. Because and the blue team is so far ahead, the Aphelios tried to play way over aggressive and he got punished for that. Right now, what we need to do is look for the picks and do the Baron to extend their lead. So I wouldn't recommend this in lower divisions. Um, you never start Baron right here and you should never ever go for a Baron at these stages of the game. Because until the enemy jungler is alive, the Baron is a 50-50. After the enemy jungler dies, now we can start the Baron. Even though the Baron is pretty slow, we can actually start it because enemy jungler is dead and this play is consistent. So in higher divisions, you should always aim for the consistency. If you want to reach Diamond, for example, Platinum or even Master tier. You should always go for consistent plays, which will bring consistent results, which will lead you winning way more games. So right here, enemy team knows that they can easily contest the Baron, and we're strong enough to do so. So we commit everything we have into stopping the Baron play, and it was successful. Because their Baron is pretty slow, it was really easy to stop the blue team from taking with Baron Nasher, even through that we have 7k lead. Right here, Maokai gets another shutdown and he already got 2 shutdowns which led into Maokai getting same amount of gold as a Pantheon top. So Maokai is really strong right now, it's really strong top laner at this stage of the game and it's really really hard to deal with. So Kriana died by Maokai CC was unlucky, but after she goes straight to mid to catch a wave and doesn't miss out on any experience, even though she got behind in levels because Rice kept clearing the bot side when the bot in here was down, she still managed to only be behind two levels instead of like four, so that's not too bad. Plus, she's influencing the game way more than the Rice, yes, all the Rice does. We just see us bot lane and scales for relating. Meanwhile, Triana is looking to group the team and always look for the place in other sides of the map. So we kill ADC and a general, so now it's a really easy battle for them. Even if enemy team comes, this is 5v3 and we still gonna be in the fight. The Rice was farming for so long and he became really strong and it was pretty hard to shut down him. So he killed two of their allies 
and we couldn't do the Baron. Also, because top laner and the ADC died, now we're gonna lose another dragon, delaying their dragon song. So that was a really nice play by enemy team, utilizing this opportunity and getting the dragon for free. After that, Rihanna looks to do the Baron and keeps denying the vision for enemy team and she built it Umbral Glaive which makes her ward clearing really fast and efficient. As you can see, she has similar score, vision score as a support who gets free wards each time she, uh, he bats. So that's pretty amazing item on Rihanna and I would always recommend building it. It's gonna bring a lot of value. Right here, we try to sneak the Baron because the card was doing so much damage and the Aphelius has the correct form to do the Baron pretty fast. We're gonna try their best to rush the Baron and we got the Baron. Meanwhile, Rihanna didn't focus the Baron. So what she did is try her best to stay in the backside and just deny the enemy team to engage on her. She doesn't want to go for a fight right now. Because they just got a Baron and they're pretty weak, so she's just walking around and waiting for the right opportunity to shine. And that opportunity appears now. He easily kills the enemy ADC and now looks for the Rise. One shots the Rise because he was so low and continues to pressure the map. But that's not all. He, he's also looking to kill the Maokai or a clean ace on the enemy team. Even through that he had 2.4k gold and he could easily just go back, he decided to go for another extra kill. So right now, they can easily get the bot in him because there is no turret that enemy team can defend. Plus, he already has 10 kills and only 3 deaths because he made the correct decisions throughout the game and that led for this game to be a victory. Imagine if Equiana didn't play this really well and then she would die and the Rise would live at the same time she couldn't kill the Graves, at the same time she couldn't kill the Maokai. So if you were impatient as a mid laner, you automatically can single handedly lose the game or your team. Right here, we're trying to contest second and hip. It's a 5 v 4, but because of card is being mid, Sotomali turns it to 4 v 4, even for it we have Baron buff. Rise is a really strong character because he has 300 fun. At the same time, Maokai is a huge frontliner, it's really hard for them to break from. After we get 2 in him is mid and bot. They're trying to pressure the top side to get the third turret and get the third and hip to secure a free event. At the same time, enemy team doesn't allow them to get the third and hip for free, which wouldn't happen if it was such high low game. So they're try still waiting for someone to be clear the bot side and mid to pressure the top. And they're at the same time looking to force a fight which would lead in man advantage. Their biggest priorities are Rise and Tristana. So even through if Rihanna died for the Rise, it was worth because the Rise provided such high value for the team. At the same time, the card is scaling for Lydian. He has 16 magi stacks and he has a Rabadon's Rabid death cap. So it was a pretty easy kill on the Grease by pressing the R button. Then the Maokai died because he didn't have enough da consistent damage in the backline, the game is over. And that's how the Kuyana solo handedly won the game for the entire team. Thanks for watching this video, can't wait to see you in the next one, and have a nice day.